I will always be glad for what I had with Sunny, and I am grateful for my daughter. But Jason, Sunny never, never loved me. And what I felt for him has changed. I mean, he's a, he's a good person most of the time, but I am not in love with him. And I don't want to be with him. Probably not the answer you were expecting. Uh, I guess I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. I don't know, one's probably gonna believe this, but I really do hope Sonny and Carly work things out, because if they don't, everything that you put yourself through, all those sacrifices to keep Michael's family together, it's all gonna be for nothing. We all made sacrifices. Yeah, but you put yourself through how? Telling everyone, even Carly, that this baby is yours. Chasing me all over the country, putting up with my lies, my evasions. If it weren't for you, I might be having this baby in prison. But you helped me clear my name. You sent my brother up in a better life. That wasn't a sacrifice. You didn't even like me at first. And now you're stuck with Sam, me I do, and my I do baby. Not, I do not feel stuck with you and your baby. I'm, I'm glad that we're all together. Look at those hands. They're perfect. You see how she moved? Hey there, kiddo. We are going to see you really soon. I'm an absolute believer in talking to unborn babies, you, especially when you're this close. You are. Well, did you hear that? We cannot wait to see you. She's well-developed, in a head-down position. So now I just want you to make sure you get plenty of rest, keep drinking lots of fluids, and avoid stress. Okay. Are there any problems? Everything looks fine. Did you get Morgan's results? It's not a match. What happens now? I've plugged into every single donor bank that I can think of, but at this point, it's time to start thinking about alternative treatments. How much time does Christina have? She could die within 48 hours. Excuse me. Okay, that's unfair. My baby is strong and healthy, and by the time she gets here, her big sister could be gone. Do you know I got a letter from one of Danny's teachers today? How's, uh, how's Danny doing? Great. Great. He's starting to write. Not a lot, but the teacher said he's making amazing progress. And I just, I wanted to thank you, because I never could have sent him if it weren't Sam, for you and... Sam, stop thanking me about Danny. I like him. Well, I was thinking that once the baby gets here, maybe you, me, and the baby could go visit him. And I know Hawaii's a long flight, but it's just, you know, Danny really wants to see her, and I think it would... Don't, you know, babies have to be a certain age before they fly? I don't know, you know. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it on my list of things to ask Dr. Meadows, but if she says yes, what do you say? I, you know, I probably... Don't, please don't say you have to work. Come on. Say you'll come with us. Okay. Okay. Do you promise? Yeah, I promise. So what's the best place you've ever been? I don't know. I never really thought about it. Well, think about it now. Come on, you've traveled all over the place. Where'd you like the best? <sighs> I'd say, um... The best place I've traveled is not the best place I've been. All right, I need to hear about this. That sounds spiritual. Well, when Michael was a baby, um, Sonny was gone. I was living in his place, and I used to just stand with Michael, looking out the window and just talking to him until he fell asleep. Talking to him about what? Anything, um, traveling, boats, what the...
park looked like in the summer. I mean, obviously he didn't care what I said. He just needed to hear my voice and feel me holding him. After a while, he'd, uh, you know, he'd fall asleep and I would just stand there with him, listening to him breathe, knowing he felt safe. That's the best place I've ever been. Well, if you think about it, in a couple of weeks, you'll be holding her, talking to her. Yeah, that should be interesting, huh? Hearing you talk for a change. Well, babies have different personalities. Maybe she'll want to hear your horrible singing. Oh, no, I am not. Well, she wants to hear me sing. I will sing. I want her to have everything. Jason, I want her to have lullabies and soccer practices, slumber parties, horseback riding lessons, you know, everything that I never had. And from now on, that's what my life is about. Bringing up a happy child. <laughs> Listen, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I am so excited to have this baby. And I don't mean just to have her and just have her here. I'm at the actual birth itself. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's my hormones. Maybe it's all the birthing classes. Okay, well, maybe. But you have to at least go once with me if you're going to be there in the delivery I, you know, room. I still no, think don't I... say Emily, please. I'm begging you. You got to do it. You got to be there. Unless, of course, you're scared. I'm scared of all I don't know. I have to do all the work. It's not but like if I, I need to speak to both of you in private about the baby. 10% risk to our child at minimum. If I agree to induce the labor, correct? Yeah, there's a 100% chance that Christina will die if she doesn't get those out. Jason. What do you think? If it were my own life, I would take the 10% risk to save Christina. But to put risk on a baby that isn't even born yet, Sam, I, I don't know. I do not know what I would do, but I will support whatever you decide. There's no other option for Christina? No, no. <sighs> I want to help Christina. But 10%, 70-10% is too big of risk to take, I have to protect our daughter. I'm sorry. I can't agree to induce the labor. I'm so sorry. The doctors, they think that this is Christina's best chance. Maybe her only one. You know, Sonny, as soon as the baby is born, Christina is more than welcome to the stem cells. But I cannot induce this labor. It is just too big of a risk to our daughter. I respect you, you see. We'll find another way to help Christina. Thank you for being understanding. Hey, you know, you know what it means to be a parent now. Always put your child first, protect your child at all costs. I'm just grateful that you, uh, that you're looking out for her daughter. Will you tell Alexis that I'm sorry? I'll tell Alexis what you decided. You have nothing, nothing to be sorry about. Selfish. 
Sam, I can totally understand why you can't risk your baby. But what if Christina doesn't make it? Jason, I will always know that I could have now, saved don't her. Don't blame yourself for what's happening to Christina. You made the best choice for your baby. And that's all that any mother can do. I'm sure the, the medical procedure is going to be a success. I just, I'll breathe a little easier when we get the ball rolling. Are you, you're worried that Sonny isn't isn't going to want her to induce life? No, Alexis, I don't... I don't know what Sonny will do, ever. I just don't have a lot of confidence that he's going to risk his unborn child. It's it's not like he's trading one I for know. the other. I know. I Sam's baby's gonna survive. She'll be fine. Yeah, I know. Look, it's, it's the chances are good, right? Ninety percent. Just if Sonny's gonna see it that way, who knows? Sam has a chance to save a life, and I know that she will do. That. Tina can just hang on until the baby's born. I would gladly give her the stump cells, Jason. And Sonny knows that. I'm sure it helps him. But it's not enough. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should just. Sam, maybe I should just Sam, do it. You made. You made the decision. Don't start doubting yourself now. But you said if it were your life at stake, you would accept a 10 percent yeah, risk. But maybe. What I, would, what I would do for myself doesn't matter in this situation. If there were any other way. You know, if it were my life, if there were any other way I could help Christina, I would... What if... What if you induce labor? You know, when something went wrong. God, I'd never be able to forgive myself. Then you made the only choice that you can make. Sonny's probably telling Alexis right now. She's gonna hate me, Jason. She's gonna hate Sam, me, and I don't blame her. Alexis is doing the same thing that you are. She's putting her child first. That doesn't make her right, and you won't. Sam refused. Sam's worried about putting a baby in a race. You explained that it was Christina. Stay out of it, Rick. No, Stay no, don't, don't, don't. Then don't tell him that's okay. Because no, it's okay. I'll go. You know, you stood here last night, and you staked your claim as Christina's father. Act like it. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I couldn't put. You know, I couldn't force Sam to put the baby at risk. You, you couldn't, or, or you, you wouldn't. It was her choice. I accepted the decision. I'm sorry, I don't understand that. that you, you think a 10% chance is, is unacceptable, even though Christina's going to die. Sam came here to visit Christina. I, I don't remember what day it was because the, the days are all running together, but she was here right. and, and she offered to help Christina in any way that she could. Sam, she, she wants to help, Alexis. If it were her own life, she'd take the risk at 10%, but she's not gonna do it for her child. Does she understand how set Christina yeah, is? Yeah, she because maybe she's rationalizing. You, people do that. I, I've been doing it all the time. I keep saying to myself, well, it's not that bad, or I keep I keep telling myself that there'll be an alternative treatment. Maybe you're doing that right now and thinking that there may be some other way, but there isn't. Christina needs those stem cells to live, and she needs them right now. Did you explain that to Sam? Yes, I did explain In, in those exact words. I don't know words. exactly what Thanks, I said. Sam, because your I daughter's don't know life depends on it. So, so, so just think and tell me exactly what you said. Because I, I need Sam to make an informed decision. And if she's not making one, then we need to educate her. Because we need to explain to her that there's a 90% chance that her baby will be fine. And there is a 100% chance that my daughter will die. Sam knows the situation. Her call and what do you want me to say? This is not a situation. This is about running and playing right now and so she's lying in that bed right now look at me if the position
conditions were reversed, I would do it. I would. I would induce labor. I would be afraid, but I would understand that a 10% risk is worth saving a little girl's life. Alex, you're scared. I'm scared. But Sam has a right to protect her child. Since when do you care about anybody's rights but your own? Make her! You can make her! You can pressure her into inducing labor. You can do it or get Jason to do it if all of a sudden at the last minute you have suddenly developed... You want me to bully a pregnant woman? I want my baby to live! I don't mean to, to beg you and ask you to ask another woman to risk her baby for mine. But if the situation were reversed, if she doesn't do it, she's gonna die. Sonny, please. Okay. Sam made the best decision she could for her child's life. I can't, I can't fight her on that. I can't. We will, we will find a way to save Christina, I, I promise you. Don't lie to yourself. If she doesn't get those 10 cells, she's gonna.